Hi everyone and welcome back to Game Maker. This is the second tutorial request. Now uh, this one, I haven't looked at the username again, but it's going to come up on screen. Dear me. Basically, someone's watched my absolutely ancient tutorials, which I thank you for, um, which I made, as you can probably see by the uh, the little window in a window box on them, that I was sitting there in my pyjamas making games in front of everybody. Brilliant. Right, now um, obviously those tutorials covered uh, making a basic shooter. Or, oh, well, you know, the components of a shooter. Um, so basically, what they didn't cover was enemies firing. So I've had a l hell of a lot of fun um, drawing up some classic Space Invader sprites pixel by pixel, which has been... Literally, I actually did enjoy it quite a bit, so I don't know. But uh, I'll show you what I've got so far. So, so far, if it loads... Maybe I shouldn't put that music in it. <laughs> wow, it doesn't want to load. There we go. So, so far we have our invaders bouncing left to right like they did in the old tutorials and I can shoot a maximum of two bullets and our invaders do pop if they get shot. We can move left and right and I felt like putting some little cliffs in and a little building on the bottom that we can go behind apparently. So yeah, that's fine. So yeah, and we can shoot two bullets by pressing spacebar. Now, what these enemies are not doing is returning fire like they should do or making beeping noises. But anyway, so this tutorial I'm going to cover um, making enemies shoot in different ways, like timed shots, random shots, stuff like that. I'm going to do your basic bomb, i.e. enemies shooting downwards. I'm going to do an aimed bomb, which is shot towards your ship, and a homing bomb, which is particularly nasty, and she'll home in on your ship. So, we're going to start by opening up Invader 1, <coughs> which is <coughs> sorry, uh, full of their basic left and right. You know, um, I'm use I am doing a really weird deaf <coughs> animation for them. Um, I could have done it differently, but I've done it awkwardly, so it's fine. So basically, um, a really easy way of making your enemy fire is like so. If we just go into the step event, we can put in a dice. And this is every step, so note that this happens 30 times a second. So this is, you know, if we were to put, you know, there's a 1 in 2 chance you're pretty much going to get 15 bullets a second from this enemy as an average. So what we're going to do is put it at 60. So that there's a hell of a lot less bullets than if we were to do a two-sider. Now I've already created the bomb object. So I'm just going to create relative to yourself. So that's, that's for the enemy. That is a really basic way of firing. Now if we just go over to the bomb. The basic bomb is extremely easy. It's going to have a create event. And we're going to make it fly down at a speed of 4. And that's literally it. We're just going to make when it collides with our ship. To, just as an example. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I always lose these buttons. <laughs> to restart the game. Just so we can see. So Invader 1 should now be dropping little bombs. Which if they hit us they will restart the game. I'm going to delete that background music after this is done loading because it's tripling the load time okay so there we go angry squiggly bullets that I also made and it's the very small invaders and if we get hit by one the game starts again they are firing quite often but obviously that can be tweaked by just increasing the number of dice rolls and stuff like that so that's the the, the very basic bomb so now what we're going to do we're going to go to invader 2 and we're going to do a different way of firing for this. So in the create an object, in the create event for this object, sorry, we're going to set alarm one. It'll probably be zero for you because you won't have already have an alarm. But we're going to set it to every every second. That's pretty mean, isn't it? Every every two seconds. So every time alarm one goes off, so I go to alarm one. We're going to create an aimed bomb relative to ourselves and oh jeez <laughs> where are you right there we go <laughs> and then we're going to reset the alarm that's controlling our fire rate okay now as you can imagine this aimed bomb is now going to be very different so <clears throat> we're going to add a create event and we're going to drop in a code block. Now, what we're going to tell this um, aimed bomb that the 
nearest sorry no it starts with instance so instance nearest so nearest yourself that is a obj ship i've called it object ship so the instance nearest that is a ship sorry right it's going to be your target so target equals instance nearest yourself which is a ship easy enough then that's that's that bit done actually <laughs> sorry i was going to make that more complicated then then literally we can just do it and move towards um it's going to be sorry it's going to be target dot x and target dot y hopefully <laughs> and what we're actually just going to quickly do is set the parent as bomb so that it's got the uh, collision collision event of restarting the game so now we should have invader 2 every 2 seconds firing an aimed bomb with the ship and I still haven't deleted that background music so aimed bombs whoa there it is coming in sideways and that one right so let's move over here any more for us? Let's see. Up uh, flying over to us. Whoa! Uh, oh. There you go. So a, m a lot more dangerous than your classic bomb. It doesn't help that I have got the fire rate very hell. This is kind of like a bullet hell version of Space Invaders. I'm tempted to like you know take my my I might make this. This this would be a great game. Anyway, <laughs> so there's that. Now I did actually uh, aimed bomb. <coughs> bullet bomb. So um, very quickly, um, I can what I can do. Oops, sorry. In the actually, yeah, in this I believe. Um, image. This is for pro users, by the way. Sorry. So image angle equals direction is a beautiful line of code. Beautiful because when things face the way they're meant to, your game looks better. Very simply put. So now the uh, the aimed bombs should point at us so we'll be able to eat much easily oh no oh, wait no they don't sorry right what we're going to quickly do is keep messing around <laughs> we're just going to um, take that delete it and we're just going to yes save good. and then we're just going to put that in the step event I said sorry this is for um, for pro users um, getting rotation for non-pro users is kind of a lot more annoying to be honest I wouldn't say tricky it's just a lot more time consuming and you need to make separate sprites at separate angles and stuff, and it's really hard to have animated angled sprites unless you know you've set them up in certain ways. So it's a bit weird. So now these bombs have been thrown at us, and they're being wow, they're actually being like thrown at us like squiggly barrels, which I quite like. And um, that will be because of the way I've set up the sprites. Um, but I, I I really like it like that actually. They're much better sideways than like pointing at us like harpoons. So it's brilliant. Right. <laughs> right, so finally, homing bomb. Now I've got my own its own sprite. So we're gonna add a create event. Sorry, no, we're not. We're gonna do the exact same as for the aimed bomb. We're gonna tell it what it, its target is the uh sorry, is the ship. There's that. Nicely done. But what we're going to do is put our move towards command in a step. Now, obviously, the move towards is brilliant in this create event because all it means is it's going to set the direction to be towards target and set the speed. Now, pulling this in the step event means 30 times a second, technically, it will change direction to head towards our ship. So literally, it's it's locked on. It's not going to stop following our ship until it's succeeded in hitting it. So we're going to put the parent's bomb for the uh, hit. And um, also, we're just going to... Uh, no, we're not. We're going to just copy this one. So it's facing us, or probably sideways. You can mess with your sprites. And Invader 3 is going to be our deadly foe, which throws homing bombs. And what we're going to do, just for this one, we're going to combine our two firing techniques. So... Alarm one, so we're gonna what we can do is every second go to alarm one. Every second there is a one in two chance 
of creating a homing bomb. And obviously that's because this bomb's a lot more dangerous. So like when you're making big enemies that fire like a like a hazardous attack and stuff like that. So like what we could do, say this enemy was going to fire a spray of bullets. We didn't want the chance to be that high. You could put all your create events in a block. And then there's only a one in two chance of it creating the following. So like, you know, we could say a one in two chance of creating a homing bomb. Or we could say like a one in six chance of creating ten homing bombs. You know, to make, you know, certain attacks a lot less different. And it's also harder for your player to predict certain enemy moves when they're random like that, which uh, can be good or bad. <laughs> so I believe, oh, we just need to tell it to reset that alarm. Otherwise it will not be firing many bombs at all. I'm just going to set that to 30. Right, so this is now a very hazardous battlefield uh, to the point of us actually not being able to survive because we cannot defend ourselves against homing bombs. But that wasn't the point in this tutorial. But I'm sure um, you could easily make them shootable. You know, if you, your bullet object collides with... Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's terrifying. Right, what we're just going to quickly do is... um Yeah, that's why my, my sprites are pointing downwards. So I'm just going to rotate it. Uh, and I do. And then I'm going to flip it. Or is it? No. Yes. So now this bomb will be following us. And what we're going to do, is just so we can see in action, we're going to put the speed to 2. And that will be this tutorial done. So there's your enemies firing. A few different, two different ways, three different ways if you combine them, of them firing. I still haven't deleted that background music. We've got three different projectile types, all as equally dangerous. So there's that homing missile look. Locked arm, looking Alice. Not going to give us the time of day. Oh, but we can outrun it. So we've, we've now got a posse of homing missiles following us. We're getting barrels lobbed at us. Oh, and I can dodge them. We can dodge the homing missiles, just about, and we can herd them into one spot. And then if our bullets worked, we could shoot them, but we can't. So yeah, so I hope you uh, enjoyed that tutorial. I've made quite a mess of this little screen game. It's quite cool. Um, if you're wondering why the missiles aren't hitting, it's just because the uh, the center point of my ship is just above my ship. So I'd, I'd just move that down a bit, and then your missiles will hit. Or you, or you can make them infinitely dodgeable. That's um, I'm sure your players would appreciate that. Or if we just sit here, I'm sure that one hits us. Oh no! So yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. So yeah, so this was a second request. I hope uh, this helped you out. If you didn't, drop me another comment, and I'll uh, happily uh, help you out. If you subscribe, feel free to send me small questions uh, through my YouTube inbox, and I'll just give you a text answer. If you've got a big question, drop it on a comment, and I'll make you a video. So thanks a lot for watching. This was uh, Space Invaders Me style. <laughs> And I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.